It's funny how what you imagine you will do at the start of a week does not match the reality by the end of the week. Mother Nature had different ideas for us. However, we did still manage to find time to enjoy the outdoors, managed to get a trip to the vets, and also fit the shock absorbers to Roma the motorhome. Hope you enjoy the video. Trembling already? It's okay, I'll get the biscuit. Hi, it's um, Tiffany. I've got Zena here for a vaccination. Zena. Lovely, thank you. What car are you in? Uh, the orange pickup truck. Lovely, thank you. Okay, thanks. Thanks. Bye. I'm ready for the vet to come and get Zena. She's looking alright. She also loves she wants to go. It's just for that biscuit. She'll risk it for a biscuit. Yeah, that's the effect of vaccination, lying down on the job. We are shocking and absorbing, or doing the shock absorbers anyway. Go red. We've got new, bright new red ones. You need to be underneath the side. Okay, I'm going. Always in the wrong part, round the other side, because I'm not working. It's all day. Going under. Okay. Right. Okay, Dave. Okay, we're going to change the shock absorber because it's leaking. Um, not quite sure why, uh, but anyway, it needs to be changed because the MOT will be coming up soon and it will fail. So this is the shock absorber, and what it does is it controls the amount of bounce that the suspension is giving you. It just slows it down um, and makes it more controllable. So the reason we're changing it is because it's lost its oil. You see there, look, it's run out. So there's no more oil left in this one. Um, it should look like the one over there, all nice and dry. Like that one. Yeah. So, um, we need to take the big bolts out, which are Torx headed. They're quite tight, so you need a strong bar to get them initially freed off. That's that one. Uh, and this one is going to be the most difficult one because you can hardly get to it. So there might be quite a lot of trial and error here. Swearing. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I think it's going to be a bit of a problem this one. Don't tell me we're going to have to take the wheel off or something. Because modal Vetter have put the mud flap right in the way. Oh, there you go. That was lucky. Yeehaw. Jesus. Yeah. That is tight, it's bending the bar. Jesus, bloody impossible this. I come out here thinking I was going to have an easy job. It's because it's, have you seen the splines look? There's quite a gap, so it, it, things have to move a long way before we go on to the next one. With a conventional socket, they don't have to move that far. one now and we just need to use um, the E24 socket to fully undo them
one. Shock absorber. Right, we need to take it and compare it now with the um, the new one to make sure it's right. Okay, let's go. Okay, Mr. Child. Right, what we've done is we've um, extended the shock absorber out to its maximum travel to make sure that we've actually purchased the right shock absorber and it's the same length when fully extended. Um, now we're going to compress them both and make sure they're the same length when fully compressed. Uh, okay. Yeah. There you go, you went see that one easy. went down easy because that's because it's running out of oil. Yeah. Right, okay. That one compresses further, but according to the specifications, this one is right for the job. Oh, there you go, it's gone a bit more. Oh, there you go. They're the same. We got them for a Coney. Coney. Because? Um, because they make, um, they just specialise in shock absorbers and front dampers so that is um, their main purpose in life and especially really good quality um, the Fiat ones failed uh, at under three years and under 8,000 miles which in my opinion is very poor yep they're the same length That started. Well, there's the shiny new, well, no longer shiny, the new shock absorber installed. You just need to torque down those two bolts, top and bottom. Um, I'll put the torque information. I say me. I'll get Dave to tell me the torque information. Um, and he's obviously waxed it to protect it, which is why it's no longer shiny. Um, but yeah, sexy new shop absorbers. And hopefully now she'll pass her MFT when she needs to go. Good job. Oh yeah. Um, one other thing. Dave says you should do both sides. If you're changing one, you change them both. Change one. Change the other. Yeah. Yeah. Good girl. 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 Good